Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how we can connect Google Sheet data in Power BI and how you can refresh the Google Sheet in Power BI service. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Google Sheet data. In this, I have the list of videos available in my YouTube channel. And for your information, this also shared with everyone so that you can get access to all my videos available on my YouTube channel. So first of all, we need to go to file and then select on publish to web. In this you have option like entire document or you can select a specific sheet and we have to select the entire document here and then you have this web page option and how you want to export this right now I'm going to use the same one as a web page and then here's the link for that click here and then control C if you notice here at the bottom of this one automatically republish when changes are made so this is not going to be a static one whenever the data gets updated it is also updated on this link data so close this one but make sure the content visible to anyone by publishing it to the web you can link or embed your document so this is public one so everyone can see with the help of this link so closing this one and then now let's go to power bi get data and then web you can paste this URL here and ok ok power bi automatically detects there are four sheets here so if I click here this is the first one so I need this and this is the second page and this is the third one and this is the fourth one so I selected all the four tables here I don't need this this is a suggested table so I don't need that Look. and then click transform data because I need to change something here there are null values are here and then the headings are not available here so click on transform data if you look at this Google Sheet data the first row is a column headers and there is no serial numbers are here but it is exported in Power BI. So let's have a look at this one. There is no, there is no column headers, and also there is additional column added here. So I need to remove all those things here. The same thing repeats on all the tables, and I want to append all the four tables in one single table so that I can do it at one time. This kind of job. In that case, what I will do, I will just click on append queries and then append queries as new. I have made a video about the append queries in Power BI. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now here, as there is a four tables here. I want to select this one and then table two, table three, and then table one. So one, I need to bring it on top of here and four, bottom of it and then click OK it has created a new table here append one and then I am going to remove this column I don't need that and also you can click here select the blank ok and click here use first row as an header it will jump the first row as an header here and then again click it here and you can remove this option group here because the group is nothing but just the heading of other files as well so now we have this data one table and then I don't need these four tables here so I'm going to select these four tables and right click here move to a group new group I will rename this group as a raw okay and then click on each and every table right click here and then disable this enable load I don't need these tables here 
for my visualization purpose I just need it only for the data so now this is ok so click on close and apply cool a table has been added here now if I click on group here and then the titles actually the titles I needed in the count for each and every group how much is the videos available here so let's make it a uh, little bit zoom here text size So in Power BI, you have 186 videos in Altrex 9, SQL 4, MS Office 2, and YouTube 2. So now let's save this file and then publish it to Power BI service. Testing workspace and then select. And then, and then open Google Sheet in Power BI. Cool, this is loading here. So let's go and refresh some data. So testing workspace. And then here's the data set. Click on more options. And then settings. Here it is asking for the gateway. So click on manage gateway. Then add a data source. So here you need to select the web this is for google sheet pbi and you have to paste the url here the same url which you are connected in power bi and authentication mode if required it is anonymous i would say and then click add it will test for this connection and make sure it works or not yes it is connected and again you can go to same thing your workspace and then go here and settings in the gateway connection uh, it is already there so you just need to select here and then you have to select the google api i mean the gateway which you have created you have to select it here and then apply so this is done so now let's go again and add some data in power bi if you look at the report there are 203 videos are there and 186 in power bi if i add one more video in power bi like uh, this is get data right google sheet okay this file is saved to the drive and in power bi i'm going to go here and in refresh the data here nothing changes so go to go data set and then refresh is 627 now it is 631 so go to power bi report and then refresh yeah it has now changed to 187 and 204 and if you want to make it a scheduled refresh you can also do that so these are you can able to connect to the google sheet data and then refresh it in power bi service if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video